Hey, good morning, y'all. We were sent over a stack of math books from the Well-Trained Mind Press, which is um, well known in the homeschooling world. And they sent us addition facts that stick, subtraction facts that stick, multiplication facts that stick, and division facts that stick. This is not a standalone curriculum, but each one can help when you go on to do your math. And the idea being that it's just gonna help your child get the facts faster, which makes their, their math work faster. So instead of giving them a problem like nine plus seven and them taking a moment to think about it, they're just gonna know. And so if they just know, they just know, and then they can move on faster, faster, faster. So these two have been out for a little while. Multiplication and division just came out last month in July. This is not homeschool specific. Addition facts, math facts, math facts period are just math. So if your child is struggling in, in public school, private school, in homeschool, these are gonna be the kind of things that you'll put on to an addition. I've not used them, but I'm planning on using them to go along with our math curriculum here at home because it's really logic based and I don't think there's a lot of this kind of thing and I think it'll just help it to move along. So first thing to go through is it doesn't take a lot of time and we're just gonna do the addition and if you guys want, I will grab the other ones on a different day. So first book up is Addition Facts That Stick. It's not a super huge book. We're looking at about, oh, these are the supplemental pages in the back. So around 130 pages or so with answers, yay, for just those days that your brain isn't working. The way it will work is you should really only be needing to do this for about 15 minutes a day. And if you did this for 15 minutes a day, the whole program takes about six weeks. So you can see here, try to pop it up a little bit. Week one, you're doing adding one and two, then pairs and sums less than 10. By week four, you're doing adding nine. And week five, you're adding eight, six, looking at the leftovers, putting it all together. In the back of the book, you're gonna have the game boards, the practice pages, the answer keys. Okay, so we're gonna go and look at the first lesson so you can kind of see a full walkthrough and what it would look like and how you would use it. Because each lesson is set up the same way. They're different material, of course, but the way it works is you get Gives you a week at a glance. It's gonna tell you right off the bat, here's what we're gonna cover. And then it'll give you the new teaching. And you get the new teaching. It uses a 10 frame, which you're probably pretty familiar with if you have little kids doing math. Um, and you'll need some pretty basic materials that you can probably scrounge up from around your house. There's these in the back to be printed off. And then um, after you do the new teaching, each week it gives you a game. And then for the days, for the rest of the week, days two through five, you would play that game and then you do a practice page each day. And by you, I mean your child. You probably need to play the game with them and then you can give them the practice page each day. So what I do enjoy about the way this is set up is it's really simple. Like you don't need to have a lot of fancy stuff. Honestly, a 10 frame is just a simplified abacus. So if you have an abacus laying around, my kids love playing with an abacus so that you could pull that out too. Um, and it only does take the 15 minutes, which I like because you could almost use it like as a warm up if you're a homeschooler and you have a regular math curriculum. And sometimes for us, it takes a little while to get into it. So it would be nice to have like a warm up to get in there. Okay, so the materials you would need for this are really simple. Um, you just need some counters and you can use the official like little circle counters. You can use teddy bear counters, you can use yet Legos, you can use coins, you can use whatever you want in paper and pencil, and you're gonna need two decks of cards. So here's gonna be your game boards. And this is where we start. So you would just print off what you need for the day, and that would be the game you would work on. And then for each day, you would go back and you would get 
the practice sheet. So it gives you like week three, practice page one, two, three, four. So one for each of those extra days because the first day they don't get that. Another good thing about this is there's no flashcards. So the idea is this one is going to be based on visualization and not counting. So instead of them counting up to, you know, from their fingers or whatever, we're gonna be getting it fast because they're gonna visualize it in their mind and move on. Okay, so when do you start this? You can start these types of books in this once your kids know the numbers up to 20 and can recognize them if they see them. They also need to understand the basic concept of addition. If you have three counters here and two there, it makes five. If you have two here, three there, it still makes five. That's the kind of addition they need to know. And then they need to have a very basic beginning understanding of place value. So if they know that when you have the number 15, that there's one 10 in there and five ones, that kind of thing. All right, so downsides. Um, the only real kind of negative thing, which isn't a real negative, is that this is a regular bound book. And since you're gonna be needing to make copies out of the back, this would be great if this had been spiral bound. However, I did go look on their website and you can just purchase the book as a PDF. You don't actually need the book. I know I like having a book, but in this kind of thing where I know I'm gonna make a lot of copies, I would prefer to have just a PDF. And honestly, The Good and the Beautiful, their curriculum is making me really spoiled because they offer you the book and the PDF, all for one great price. So hopefully more things will go that way, or at least you know get a little password and be able to get the file to print these off because it would just make life easier. I suppose if you're only gonna use it for one kid, you could have them just write in the book, but I don't know. I guess I grew up not wanting to do that. <laughs> so other than that, it really looks like a good program. We are gonna start using it, um, and then I can let you know how that goes too.